Do you have the papers? Yeah, I got like the papers you need, man. What's up guys, Jared here with another newsworthy movie review. So the theaters have been filled with these true story real life movies the last couple weeks. All the Money in the World featuring the J. Paul Getty story, Molly's Game featuring the Molly Bloom story, and this week I went out and saw the Steven Spielberg directed film, The Post. So does The Post deserve its spot on the front page? Let's find out. So The Post is a political thriller that takes place in the 1970s. It starts off with military analyst Daniel Ellsberg, who is over in Vietnam documenting- <laughs> Why can't I say documenting? <laughs> documenting the process of the Vietnam War. It is determined that the war is hopeless. However, Lyndon B. Johnson decides against this and continues the war. Years later, Ellsberg leaks these classified documents to the New York Times, detailing more than 20 years of hidden government secrets. As this is happening, Catherine Graham, played by Meryl Streep, is getting ready for her IPO with the Washington Post. Within the next following days, the Washington Post also gets a hold of these classified documents and has to make an important decision. Do they publish the truth and risk the future of the newspaper, or do they idly sit by while the government takes control? So Steven Spielberg does a fantastic job with his story and material. Right off the bat, it's this intriguing story about these government secrets and this small group of people that wants to start a rebellion to tell the truth. The way that it was structured made it a really engaging story that was both tense and making you wonder what was happening next. The urgency of decisions and plot points were framed in such a manner that almost gave you anxiety like the people that had to make them. Now I'm sure this movie would have been great with whoever was in the movie, but the cast is what made this movie elevate from good to great. Meryl Streep and Tom Hanks are two powerhouses in this movie, and their relationship chemistry is just electric. You can see the conflict within these two as they argue whether to publish or not. Meryl Streep portrays this strong woman that's in charge of the Washington Post. However, at this time, women really didn't have power or a sane, so she's really discounted when it's all males in the room. Just the smallest mannerisms from her really enhance the performance. Aside from the two powerhouses, the rest of the cast is littered with notable names, just enhancing the film. The cinematography in the post was fantastic to say the least. Each scene and shot is framed to make the most of it. The tracking shots of someone as they hurry through the newspaper bullpen really shows the hecticness of what was going on, but also somehow how it smoothly all worked together. Aside from the tracking shots, the tense conversations between two people were intriguing, but there were two shots in particular that I can remember of Meryl Streep approaching this big group of women, but then she goes through this doorway and it's nothing but men on the other side. This was a tremendous shot for the sake of the shot, but also showing us that she was dealing with a man's world. Now, for some reason, this movie did feel like it dragged at times. Now, I'm not entirely sure why. This isn't really a long movie. It's right under two hours. I don't know if it was certain conversations or the way that Spielberg took the movie, because this is definitely an engaging story and movie. It just felt like it was a few minutes too long. Tighten things up just a bit. Overall, The Post is a phenomenal movie showcasing a pivotal piece of American history. With great directorial vision, solid cast, intriguing story, and spot-on cinematography. But with the movie being a bit too long, I'd highly recommend checking out The Post. It's a solid historical piece that definitely deserves the front page headlines. What did you think of The Post? Was it the political thriller starring Hanks and Streep that you were hoping for? Or is this a forgotten story in the periodical section of your library? I want to hear about it in the comments below. As always, you can find me on the social medias at Jared Buckendall on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Until next time, I'll see you later.